From prehistoric times, when our ancestors wandered around in small groups, to the staggering figure of 7.8 billion people today, the world's population has grown in ways that would make even the best mathematicians need an extra calculator. The agricultural revolution, for example, wasn't just about figuring out which seeds to plant, it was the real estate boom of the time, allowing more people to settle and multiply in a fixed place. Fast forward a few millennia, and the industrial revolution sped things up again, but this time with steam engines that were apparently just as good at increasing production as they were at increasing population. It's almost as if every great technological or social leap came with a secret multiply people button. This continuous population growth, driven by innovations and social transformations, not only shaped society, but also paved the way for the modern world, full of bustling cities and, of course, lots of traffic. In this video, we find out how many people have lived on Earth throughout history, highlighting the importance of understanding the dynamics of human population growth. We'll approach it from four perspectives, historical, biological, environmental, and futuristic, each offering unique insights into how the number of human beings has expanded and influenced our planet, our society, and our environment over the millennia. Wars, however devastating, have a profound impact on the demography of nations. During the Second World War, for example, we saw entire populations redistributed, either by evacuation or as a result of darker tragedies. However, in the aftermath, many countries experienced baby booms, a sudden increase in birth rates, revealing how even the most catastrophic events can generate a surprising demographic recovery. Revolutions, on the other hand, often reshape politics and the economy, causing mass migrations that permanently alter the population structure of various regions. Technological discoveries, such as the invention of agriculture, have transformed not only what we eat, but how we live, allowing for an exponential increase in the capacity to sustain a growing population. This intricate mix of innovation, conflict, and renewal is fundamental to understanding how humanity has reached its current 7.8 billion inhabitants. Since ancient times, when human groups began to move thousands of miles, each step into an unknown land was not only a matter of survival, but also an opportunity to mix and match genes. Just imagine, each new migration is like swiping right on potential genetic diversity. This crossbreeding between different populations not only spiced up the genetic melting pot, but also helped adapt humanity to an incredible variety of environments from freezing altitudes to warm tropics. By studying these changes, we uncover how the dance of migration and expansion has shaped the global genetic portrait we know today, giving us incredible resilience as a species and, of course, fascinating stories to tell. Some scientists are basically genetic detectives, tracking down clues about how we evolved over millennia. One such revealing study followed how the expansion of agriculture changed not only the landscape, but our very genetic code. By switching from hunting to gathering, some of us developed a greater tolerance for carbohydrates and even an affinity for spending more time in the sun, not without a good sunscreen, of course. Another fascinating study showed how populations that migrated to high altitudes, yes, we're talking thousands of feet above sea level, adapted to use oxygen more efficiently, basically their bodies learned not to waste a good breath of fresh air. And when we talk about population growth, we're not just counting heads, we're designing the fate of entire ecosystems. Just imagine, every time our population takes a leap, it's as if we're adding a little more weight to an already tense scale. For example, as more land is converted into residential or agricultural areas, entire habitats say goodbye to biodiversity. Have you seen a rainforest lately? They're shrinking faster than someone's pants after Christmas. And it's not just forests. From coral reefs to deserts, the marks of human presence are everywhere, affecting the wildlife and plants that reside there. This intricate interplay between people and nature is crucial for us to understand how our survival depends, not just on generating more human beings, but on living harmoniously with the environment that sustains us. What about your ecological footprint? 
Have you ever stopped to think about its size? No, I'm not talking about the size of your shoe, but rather the impact that each of us has on the planet. As our population grows, so does our ecological footprint, almost as if each new human being arrives with a heavy footprint on the Earth. This concept helps us visualize how our consumption of resources, from water to energy, expands with the number of people. And here's a curious fact. If everyone in the world lived like the typical American citizen, we would need about four planets to support everyone. That's a lot of Earth, considering we haven't even managed to colonize the moon yet. Discussing sustainability is essential because although we can increase the number of people, the planet's resources are finite, which presents us with a major challenge. How can we continue to grow without destroying our only home in the universe? According to calculations by the Population Reference Bureau, around 108 billion people have lived on the planet since Homo sapiens appeared approximately 50,000 years ago. Looking to the future, forecasts suggest that the world's population could reach an impressive 9 billion people by 2050. That's like adding another America, Europe, and Brazil to the planet, all squeezing to find space in the buffet of life. But what about technological innovations? They promise to be the superhero cape we might need to deal with these numbers. Imagine buildings that grow food on their walls, cars that purify the air as they drive, or even floating islands that function as new habitats. Technologies that could turn the tables in terms of sustainability. Sure, it all sounds a bit like science fiction, but who would have thought 50 years ago that we'd be sending instant messages from our watches? The future is knocking at the door, and it brings with it challenges and solutions that can be as surprising as a good thriller movie. CRISPR clustered regularly interspaced, short palindromic repeats. Technology is a revolutionary genetic editing tool that allows scientists to modify the DNA of organisms in a precise and efficient way. This technique was developed from a natural defense system found in bacteria, which cuts the DNA of invading viruses to protect them. As we move into this overpopulated future, gene editing technology, such as CRISPR, could allow us to adapt our own biology to better face environmental challenges, such as resistance to high temperatures or efficiency in resource consumption. Have you ever thought of humans optimized to live with less water or food? This could become a crucial tool in managing an increasingly crowded Earth. These emerging technologies not only promise to revolutionize medicine, but also how we live and interact with our planet. So while we plan our future cities and new forms of society, perhaps it's time to start thinking of ourselves as part of the solution, not just the problem. Are we ready for this new era of innovation and adaptation? Time, as always, will tell. What if, in the not-too-distant future, we colonize other planets? Can you imagine calling Mars home sweet home? The idea of space colonization, once the stuff of science fiction, is becoming a serious plan to respond to our ever-growing population. With projections pointing to an increasingly crowded world, turning other planets into new neighborhoods isn't just a fantasy. Just imagine your great-grandchildren could be the first real Martians, swapping the old sunsets for the view of two moons. These changes in the final frontier also promise to shake up our society in ways we are still trying to understand. With new societies emerging on different planets, social relations, politics, and economics will undergo a spatial metamorphosis. How will we deal with issues of governance and civil rights millions of miles away from Earth? And even more intriguingly, how will we resolve interplanetary disputes Will we have lawyers specializing in Martian law? These are questions we need to start considering as we prepare the engines for this new era of human exploration and expansion. Now, I invite you to reflect. How can we, together, plan for a sustainable future in a world that keeps growing? The solutions may lie in technology, in changing behaviors, or even in new global policies. What do you think? Comment your ideas below, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on our future explorations of this and other fascinating topics. Let's discover and shape the future we want together.